Hey folks, this was going to be a tribute episode for Justice Ginsburg, who died on Friday. I think when a public official dies, it's a perfect time to show some decency and respect for both the recently deceased and for their family. You don't have to agree with the policies of someone to show some decorum when they pass away. And no matter how you feel about Justice Ginsburg's rulings, you have to respect the fact that she died serving America as a Justice of the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, there are just too many numpties out there acting like total jackasses for me to make such an episode. This country has become more polarized than it was when I was a kid. I'm not saying that it wasn't polarized in the 80s, but compared to today, there was nothing like what we see in 2020. Some people are firmly convinced that burning down everything is the solution to their problems, and I'm tired of it. Tired, by God. First of all, dozens of people are dead now from rioting. Hundreds are injured. Thousands have lost their jobs. Tens of thousands are moving out of the cities, etc., etc., ad nauseum. We already face death, disability, unemployment, and potential homelessness thanks to COVID-19. And I wish that the idiots running around bashing, smashing, shooting, looting, burning, and defacing would just stop already. These idiots may think that they are making people pay attention to them, and they're right about that. It's just that the rest of us don't really care to listen to what rioters have to say. Quick hint, rioters. Once the riots started, your arguments became invalid. You're not attacking the perpetrators, and you're not tearing down any system. You're attacking your neighbors and tearing down your city. Second, Justin Skidensburg died on Friday. I saw the first reports in the evening. It didn't take long before Mitch McConnell stuck his foot in it. I personally think that Mitch should have stated that the confirmation would be discussed this weekend and a statement made on Monday, and stuck to honoring Justice Ginsburg, at least for the weekend. President Trump said something heartfelt and decent and walked away before he was asked about appointing a replacement. Why couldn't Mitch do the same thing? And yet there are some real idiots on the left who didn't let Justice Ginsburg's family have so much as an hour before they started acting out. And by acting out, I mean completely melted down. There are people out there cursing the deceased justice because she didn't either resign back when Obama could have replaced her or survive until Biden could do so. Within two hours of the first reports, we all heard and saw people threatening to, quote, burn it down, unquote, if Mitch McConnell pushed through the confirmation of the new Supreme Court justice before the election. Burn down what, exactly? Congress? The White House? Washington, D.C.? The country? What exactly are people going to burn down? And if that isn't enough, some utter moron just gave us an example of what burn it down means to them. For the second time in the last two years, someone mailed a package full of ricin to the president. Why? For the love of God. Why? Those who want to kill the president are unlikely to succeed. There are over a half dozen federal law enforcement agencies who take every potential threat to the president's well-being seriously. Plus the Secret Service who will take a bullet for the president. Plus the White House Marine Corps detachment who takes their job of protecting the president even more seriously than the Secret Service, if that's even possible. The only thing that these would-be assassins are likely to do is to push the country a step closer towards civil war. I wish that I could say that the news media is helping, but then I'd be lying. What the news media is doing with the reporting is fanning the flames. The riots are bad, but reporting the riots as mostly peaceful protests has made them worse. Reporting statements from our elected officials who don't seem to have a press secretary is bad enough, but reporting that anonymous sources confirm that Trump said that he would exercise dictatorial powers is ratcheting up the tensions, don't you think? So here's what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to do what I think we all should do and show some respect for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She spent the last 27 years on the Supreme Court and the last 40 as a federal judge, and that level of service deserves respect. Her family is grieving their loss, and they deserve some decency out of us because if it were our loved ones who passed, we would have the right to expect the same courtesy. I'm going to tell the news media, once again, that they need to actually edit their copy before it goes out, and they need to have some journalistic standards and follow their own code of ethics. 
And I'm going to remind everyone who is running around literally raising hell in the country, ready to burn it all down, that the only things that they are making more likely is a Trump victory in November and their eventual convictions. Yes, I know that some prosecutors are refusing to charge people out west, but you remember those lawyers who threw a Molotov cocktail at an NYPD SUV a while back? Well, they were both just sentenced to life in prison. What I'm not going to do is act like I've never learned any common sense or common decency. The election is coming, too, and I'm going to vote my conscience.